good morning the topic which we are going to handle today is gst the registration migration and other aspects namaskar dosto mera naam gaurav hai gaurav delhi arbi mera youtube channel hai kripya subscribe kare dosto ye subscribe ka button dabaye sath mein bell icon ko click karna na bhule My name is CS Garuk Ma Sharma and my mobile number is 9906942300 my website is given over here in the link csgaruksharma.com and my email id is garukdelhiarevi@gmail.com so without much of a delay let's start what is gst what is gst registration what is the important aspect if you are a vendor if you are a e-commerce seller if you are a manufacturer if you are a blogger if you are anything then why gst registration is necessary for you gst is one of the biggest Forms. GST replaces previous indirect taxes of excise, VAT, and service tax. The benefits of GST are higher threshold for registration because of which uh, you uh, the mean the small uh, entrepreneurs got saved from this. Composition scheme for small businesses obvious. composition scheme is very important online simpler procedure under gst so there is always a track record of your filings and your every taxes which you have paid online simpler procedure is there another one another aspect is lesser compliances obviously without compliances there is nothing but there are lesser compliances in it and recently the quarterly compliances scheme so that made the life of entrepreneurs quite simpler defined treatment for e-commerce obviously and hasmo kadbi adya ji has already defined it quite pretty well increase efficiency in logistics and made the few sectors uh, quite shiny and quite brighty so regulating the unorganized sector because of this so what are the higher threshold for registration in gst if you are earning 20 lakhs for all north east state then you need to have a gst as per the vat structure any business with a turnover of more than 5 lakhs in most states is liable to pay vat similar service tax providers if turnover is less than 10 lakhs we were exempted but over 10 lakhs they have to register and get serious service tax paid under gst the threshold has been increased to 20 lakhs thus exempting many small traders and service providers so if you are not earning 20 lakhs Per year or in any year, then you need to have uh, no need to have a GST registrations. So composition scheme for small business. What what is composition scheme? GST also is an optional scheme for lower taxes for small businesses. It is called the composition scheme. It has now been proposed to be increased to one crore. This will bring respite from tax burden to many small businesses. Simpler online procedure under GST. What is that? Starting from registration to filing returns and payment of GST tax is online. Everything is a track recorded. Startups do not have to run around to tax offices to get various registrations under VAT, excise, and service tax because it is being removed by replacing it through GST. So lesser number of compliances. How in excise monthly compliances were there? In service tax uh, proprietorship uh, quarterly company LLP monthly VAT. There are different state different procedures, but in GST there are only few returns. GST one manually populated. GST R two. GST R three. GST R four. Or to populate it. So there are only four returns out of eleven which are important in GST. Very simple procedure over there. Different treatment for e-commerce. All these differential treatment and confusing compliances will be removed, like in VAT taxes and service tax through GST. For the first time, GST clearly maps out the provisions applicable to e-commerce sector, and since these will apply all over India, there should be no complication regarding interstate movement of goods anymore. So increase efficiency in logistics. When GST goes live, these restrictions on interstate movement of goods will be lessened, and the logistics sector might start consolidating warehouse across the country. As an outcome of GST, warehouse operators and e-commerce players have already shown interest in setting up their warehouses at strategic locations such as Nagpur, which is the zero mile city of India. Instead of every other city on their delivery route, reduction of unnecessary logistic costs will increase profits of businesses involved in supply of goods through transportation. In case.
case of any query you can get in touch with me so what are the regulated of unorganized sector through gst gst has provision for online compliances and payments and availing of input credit only when the supplier has accepted the amount only when the supplier has accepted the amount thereby bringing the accountability and regulation to these industries so what are the benefits of registering under gst first for normal registered businesses take input tax credit make interstate sales without restriction for composition dealers limited compliances less tax liability high working capital because of the profits made and uh, the cost saved for businesses that voluntarily opt in for gst registration below 20 lakh take it can take input tax credit make interstate sales without restriction register for an e-commerce website have a competitive advantage compared to other business eligibility for what is gst registration what is the eligibility every business carrying out a taxable supply of goods or services and whose turnover exceed the threshold limit of 20 lakhs or 10 lakhs for northeast and hill states is required to register a normal taxable person this process registration is called gst registration who should get registered under gst there are many people who can get in self registered so register in the gst businesses register in any type of pre gst need to register under gst by default apart from the normal taxpayer there are few special cases as explained in section 3 that have to register for gst specific irrespective of their turnover so whether it's 20 lakhs or 10 lakhs or less than 10 lakh or less than 20 lakh then they have to register business that needs to register under gst irrespective of their turnover every person who is registered under the pe gst like excise vat service tax if you are registered over there now the it is being replaced through gst so you have to get registered automatically for the same without it you cannot carry on the business so when a business which is registered has been transferred to someone the transferee shall take registration with effect from the date of transfer anyone who drives interstate supply of goods casual taxable person or a non-resident taxable person agents of a supplier those paying tax under the reverse charge mechanism input tax uh, input service distributor e-commerce operator or aggregator person who supply via e-commerce aggregator person supplying online information database access or retrieval service from a place outside india to a person in india other than a registered taxable person so what are the document details required to register under gst pen is mandatory to apply for gst registration except in cases of non-resident document details required to register under gst are valid permanent account number that is pen number valid indian mobile number valid email address Prescribed document and information of all mandatory fields of registration application. Place of business document detail verified. Jurisdiction details valid bank account number of India, India Financial System Code, IFSC number of the same bank and branch where your account is being maintained. At least one proprietor, partner, director, trustee, member with corresponding PAN number, an authorized signatory who is resident of India, and valid details including PAN. So, what is the GST process? Any business can get registered under GST by applying via the GST online portal or at GST Seva Kendra. Set up the set up by the government of India, or you can go online and get it registered. So, how to register for GST? First step is log on to GST, and here you can find out many steps over there. Penalty for registering under GST. An offender not paying tax, making short payment, genuine errors has to pay a penalty of 10% of the tax amount due to subject to a minimum of 10,000 rupees. The penalty with will at 100% of the tax amount due when the offender has deliverably evaded paying tax. Composition scheme. Small businesses having annual turnover less than 1 crore can opt for composition scheme. Composition dealer will pay nominal tax rates based on the type of businesses. Like for manufacturer 1% CGST, SGST 1% total GST. Traders for this, you can pause it out and uh, you can read the same. You can pause the video and get the same. Composition scheme is not applicable to service provider, interstate seller, e-commerce seller, suppliers of non-taxable goods, manufacturer of notified goods gsti number so this is the structure of gsti number initially two alphabets provide the state code then another few uh, alphabets provide the permanent account number then entry number of the same pen holder in a state alphabet z by a default check some digit 
all businesses have to carry out the successful GSTI number. GST return and their due dates. First GSTR 1, outward supplies of taxable goods and of services, that is 10th of next month. GSTR 2, inward supplies of taxable goods and services, 15th of the next month. GSTR 3, monthly return, 20th of the next month. GSTR <coughs> 9 is annual return 31st December of next financial year no, for non-resident taxable person GSTR 5 for return uh, for non-resident foreign taxable 20th of the next year so you can pause it out and you can read the GSTR returns which are being over, given over here and can read the same penalties and interest late filing return filing is mandatory in the GST even if there is no transaction you must file annual return you cannot file a return if you don't file previous month's quarter return hence late filing of GST return will have a cascading effect leading to heavy fines and penalty late fee and return interest is 18 percent per annum it has to be calculated on the tax payer on the amount of outstanding tax to be paid time period will be from the next day of filing to the date of payment late fee is 100 per day and so it is 100 under CGST and 100 under SGST total will be 200 day per day Minimum is 5000. There is no late fees. So thank you. This is my mobile number. In case of any query or you have any uh, questions, you can get in touch with me. Triple nine zero six nine four two three zero. You can get in touch with me over WhatsApp only. You can write your query over here in WhatsApp and I'll surely reply to you. Mostly I am out of town, so I half uh, reply to you over the call. If it's important and urgent, only then I can give the reply over the call otherwise no, whatsapp will be a good, good idea over there so you can also write an email to me garadali at the rate gmail.com my website is csgaurasharma.com so uh, guys i will try to uh, give more videos to you please subscribe my channel and do hit the red subscribe button and after that please do not forget to press the bell icon thank you very much friends press the bell icon